welcome friends in this video tutorial i'm going to show you that how to configure a dsl router for sharing or connecting internet broadband connection to a single computer or a multiple computers on lan this all mac this all things configuration you have to do in the router first of all make sure that connect all those wires and cables at the appropriate places and slots after that to power it on wait for some time so that the dsl signal on the router should be constant once the dsl signal on the router you get constant it is not blinking then just go to the your browser any of your browser after that type the address or to access the software of the um, of the router mine is 192.168.1.1 okay 192.168.1.1 is the address to access the software of my router it will ask for username and password my username is admin and password is also admin hit enter now now i had been logged into my router settings configuration go to advanced setup click on wan okay you may find here lot many type of connections if you find here lot many type of connections select all and click on remove mine is blank and mine is empty so i will click here add after that uh, port number would be 0 vpp should be 0 vci should be 35 uh, service category should be ubr without pcr ubr without pcr if you are using bsnl broadband or okay after that this is the most important thing you have to since you are going to in order to share multiple computers or uh, connect multiple computers over a lan for internet click over here ppp over ethernet ppp over ethernet p p o p double p triple p o e this one should be ppp over ethernet select this one after otherwise if you don't select this you won't get access to the multiple computers internet so uh, select here this one lcc slap bridging click on next it put your username which you have got from your service provider your broadband username it is asking your broadband username mine is p b s w a d put your password which you have got from your bsnl provider i'm sorry any of your network provider broadband provider put your provider name mine is bsnl okay authentication mode keep it uh, auto bridging mtu size keep it here 1492 1492 all right click on next after that tick enable nat enable firewall enable wan service okay after that click next after that it is okay now everything is configured click here save and after that if you click on reboot see here one connection is created reboot once the router will reboot you will get access to internet or broadband on each of your computer connected to the lan now i would show you that okay guys uh, now this is the second part of the video tutorial in this uh, tutorial i will show that uh, how to configure the wifi of the router so uh, actually uh, the in the previous tutorial which uh, the router i had used was not inbuilt with wifi i basically use a dlink router of for the wifi purpose so let's see the process mm, first of all you need to uh, configure your router so in order to do that uh, refer your manual in order to access the software 
of the router. So my manual says that if you enter 192.168.0.1, you would be allowed to access the Wi-Fi router. So it will ask for the username and password for the remember this is the username and password for the router entering into the software i would enter my username and my end. i have not set any password and press ok now see i get into the software of the router here i have to configure whether the your router is of uh, dlink whether it is of cisco whether it is of uh, netgear the process is uh, almost similar it's differ uh, even a bit so go to the wireless settings uh, after that this piece will include all the mandatory settings for the wi-fi first of all uh, select the wireless mode uh, you compulsorily select the access point mode access point mode if you have multiple ports wi-fi router you have to select access point mode after that wireless network name that is called SSID this is the name whatever you enter here the people will search in the search for the Wi-Fi network you will get this name so uh, my name uh, is an uh, organization now is universal then I V E R S A L Wi-Fi so whenever any person will get a Wi-Fi network it, or in anyone will search for Wi-Fi network it, it will get the name displayed as the Wi-Fi name called universal Wi-Fi okay select your reason uh, minus 8 India channels how many uh, systems should connect at a time uh, after that uh, select the bandwidth maximum bandwidth available in your router after that uh, SSID broadcast whether you want to encrypt your SSID a name or whether you want to display it to anyone if you want anybody could display uh, your Wi-Fi connection on anybody internet click it on right so after that um, security mode if you want that uh, anybody could connect to your Wi-Fi internet without any password you s leave it as none don't select anything here but if you want to encrypt uh, if you want to create a password for your Wi-Fi network just select it and uh, go to WPA personal WPA personal WPA2 personal okay WPA2 personal click here WPA2 personal after that you enter here your password in this box and in this box uh, say let's say I am entering my password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, re verify 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay that's it that's all the things which you need to do save all the settings once the setting is being saved into the router software continue and uh, reboot the router okay that's it uh, whenever now the router will start uh, anybody will search for the uh, Wi-Fi network you will get a name by universal Wi-Fi connect click on whenever you click on connect it will ask your password and if that person will enter this password it will get access to the internet thank you for watching bye